Hi, this is David. Usually in the videos, you only see my hand. Unfortunately, in today's video, uh, I'm gonna be the main, the main target because Aislinn just doesn't feel up to doing this video. I'm sure you have noticed that we haven't published anything for a while. Uh, you may have seen some comments that we've made, but we haven't really given any details out. So last year, Aislinn was really struggling with her breathing. Uh, we were trying to work with a pulmonologist, but we weren't really getting a whole lot of information. And as the year progressed, it seemed to get worse. And then it seemed to get significantly worse. And in January, we had to call 911 and she was admitted to the hospital with a condition called heart failure, or maybe it's congenital heart failure. It had, it's not a heart attack. It has to do with her heart being unable to provide the oxygen needed throughout the body. And so the lungs kind of have to do double duty. Uh, you'll notice in some of our later videos that we had an oxygen concentrator that helped her out in that regard. Unfortunately, it got bad enough that, as I said, we had to call 911 and she was admitted to the hospital. Um, her lymphedema, which was the water retention in her torso and legs, had gotten so bad that we couldn't even get her in the van anymore. So ambulance took her to the hospital. They diagnosed the heart failure condition and they had to do what was called a tap where they drew some fluid out of and around from her lungs. And while examining that fluid, they found indicators of cancer. Those indicators have been confirmed, but there's still a lot of details that we don't know about the cancer. But while she's been in the hospital, and she's been in and out of the hospital for the last couple of months, but the out has not been coming home. The out has been going to a rehab facility where they could work on making her stronger, but they've been unable to keep her there because she keeps having trouble with her breathing, um, too much CO2 retention. And we're working through a process that we hope will fix that so that she can get into a rehab facility so that she can build her strength so that we can begin treatment for the cancer. So she's really struggling. And obviously this really has me worried. My hope is that she will be able to get back out into the wild, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. If we can get her strength up, maybe we can do some little things, but we're certainly not gonna be doing any big adventures in the near future. I don't know what this means for the future of this channel. I will try and do another video like this if we do have more information that I can share with you. But for now, know that we covet your prayers. She needs all the help that she can get. So prayers and well wishes would be greatly appreciated. And if you share comments on this, I will make sure that she sees them so that she will feel the love from the internets. That's all I have for now. I want to thank you for your time and thank you in advance for your prayers. It means a lot to us. This is David signing out of Wheels in the Wilderness.